Hi everyone, welcome to the next episode of my Solitude SimCity 4 Let's Play. Um, the last episode I've been working on this area you see around here, and as you might notice just now some new residential developments happening here in this area I zoned, so that's good I guess, because that wasn't happening before. And, yeah, I guess for now I'll just continue zoning some new areas for my residential. Oh, and uh, someone mentioned in a comment on my previous video that um, there would be a lot in the airport menu due to some mods that I have should be the right grass texture to match this perfectly so I'll look for that because I'm pretty sure I have that mod I come to think of it because I haven't used it in a long time but it should be in there it might be in the bottom of the parks menu though I think it is actually Yep, there it is. There they are. There's a few different sizes, so I think this is right for the texture. Let's try that. Yep, perfect. Much better. Alright. So I'll just fill this in with those, and it shouldn't take very long because they're larger sized lots compared to the others. Just put a couple more of these in here instead. There. Okay, and I had a couple trees on this part of it, so I'll just put a few more there. There. Looks good. Alright. So... I mean, these houses are kind of... I don't know. They're just close to it. I guess there shouldn't be a lot of taking off and landing here, like a commercial airport, of course, but... I guess if there were some trees between them and the air airstrip. Unfortunately, I don't know if I should put trees so close to it, so... It's on the flight path, I suppose, but... It seems like a good idea to... Keep it open space. So... Leave it as is for now. There's that bug again. I probably mentioned this before, but they always... Um, the houses usually show no road connection and then it goes away, you just saw that go away I'm sure so hopefully it goes away in time because sometimes it stays there for over a game month that causes them to actually abandon due to the commute time as if they didn't have a road connection and it's after be repopulated later on so it's kind of annoying when that happens um, but anyway I think I'll go around this area and put some new things in. You know, we've got some taller, larger buildings here. 
civic structures. I think I might put some commercial development along the street, maybe. At least in that area back there. So, I'll keep it as really a low density. Medium is, of course, concentrated to the uh, south of here. In this downtown type area. So, yeah. Well, it might, it might be okay to have a couple medium density lots. My 4x4 size or 3x4. Like this. 4x4. Four four. Due to the uh, height of the hospital, it would kind of we stand out a little less. It would be the only the tallest structure around or anything. And yeah, this would be an interesting area to fill in. Okay, I could put, you know, uh, medium density commercial like these other two lots. But this is a resident residential street on the other side of it, so I'll make a medium density residential and face that just for this lot right here, this parcel. So maybe some medium sized apartments can be built there. Also, I've got this menu management lot I noticed, and I think I've, I was using it to build um, these noise walls. Looks like I'm pretty much done with that, right? What this? Was I supposed to put one right here, I wonder? I don't have to, of course, it's just a blank tile back there, so I guess I'll. I think I'm done for now with the noise walls, so I can probably demolish that lot. Because if you demolish demolish those, they'll disappear from your menus to make it less cluttered, but it only happens once you re reload the city, I think. Or restart the game, one of the two. So, yeah. Those be grayed out in the menu for now. So, Fortunately, there aren't very many mods that support those menu management lots, as far as I know. So, could be useful though. Um, anyway, I'll check on this. I made that historical, that's good. That as well. I like these uh, buildings, so that's why I kept them there. Made sure they stay. Sure, it's a, it's a very nice lot design with the props and the just the design of the lot and everything. And the building, of course, I like. Um, it's got, well, POD apartments. That's by Matt B. Uh, 325, yeah. So, if you want to search for that in Centropolis, I think. Or SC4, SC4 Devotion. Pretty nice design for a building, I'd say. Um, and, yeah. And I guess I'll mention this one is uh, by Simfox. I think this is some Centropolis. Maybe SC4 Devotion instead, I'm not sure. But there's a bunch of similar buildings you can get to. They're like taller towers or diagonal ones and everything. Well, anyway, I was over here doing zoning. And nothing's appeared yet, but just been put there, I guess. So we've got plenty of water coverage, so as far as it, the roads extend right now, it's covered. Look at that, I'm getting my pretty median to start appearing now. Is that already there? I don't know. So school must have made this a tree and everything up here. Yeah, I've got... Um, this was from Metropolis also. Um, the medians for the two lane avenues from the network widening mod. So, they're pretty nice looking, but unfortunately, there is sometimes a bug where they leave a tile blank, just grass, so 
Just gotta kind of click on it and it'll fix it, I think, or rezone or something. Um, anyway, I'll keep it low density on this side. The school's not as tall of a building, and there can be somewhat taller buildings, even in the low density commercial uh, zones. So, yeah. This would fit well with three tile wide zones. Either that or I could make it uh, four tiles and leave this for, I don't know, a park or something. Because it does turn into grass when it has zoning along it. But I think this is fine actually. So I won't want to put uh, much development or any development along this street right here, this road, because of the airstrip being right nearby. So actually, they've got a street light in the way, pretty much. It looks like so that's too bad, but I can't really do anything about that, I guess. The other side, I had to leave some open space, so I will probably turn this all into, I don't know, a grass area or a park or some some sort. Definitely won't be putting buildings here though. So I think this uh, soccer fields will fit well in this slot, this space right there. So I can probably put two or three of those, but then again I do have the nearby university uh, sports fields here. There's two of them and there's another one over here I guess. So that's not that's not too much really, I guess, maybe. I can put one or two. So I don't want to have like too many of them or something around this area. separate that from this commercial zone actually by a tile. Put some trees in there. the other direction. I mean, turn them. See, I could have... This was how it was originally, actually. Maybe. No reason in particular, I just, I don't know, like it a little better this way. So, random rotation of that, I guess. Let's take care of that with the park. I want an entrance like that. Actually, this can make this a uh, different type of grass texture than what we saw before. It was this less watered looking grass, so it'll match better with the uh, more green colored types. That looks about perfect. I think that's as good as we'll get. So, yeah. Let me look at that. It's time they're all out playing all these fields, actually. It's pretty cool. I don't usually notice that for some reason. I guess it must be doing it still with the props and everything in the game, so... It's pretty good. Of course, it probably depends on the time of day, maybe even the day of the week. It's 1 p.m. So, of course, I have the uh, the uh, time, the day and night cycle turned off, so you can see better in my videos. Because I've tried having it be nighttime videos before, but 
people just say, you know, you can't see this because it's probably darker on other people's monitors, you know. But it just seems brighter when I'm looking at it and then I record and it's dark. So anyway, I just keep it daytime in these for that reason. So I've kind of uh, stopped myself from being able to extend this street here. I wonder if I want to change that a bit and be able to move it or extend it past that intersection. Let's see, it just goes around into the university and kind of goes around that area. So. Um, I don't know. I mean, I do need another road somewhere in this area, so if I want to have development there, uh, I could maybe put an S intersection type thing, but I guess the best kind of intersection for if you're going to do that is, uh, I think it's what's called a positive offset, so the it would be on instead of right here, it would be like more over here. And the reason is because left turns on the uh, main road won't be like potentially lining up cars and blocking each other here. They're waiting to turn left here and these are waiting to turn left here. So, I don't know. Hopefully that wouldn't be a problem, I guess. You never see it in the game, I suppose. I don't have a lot of cars show up most of the time. This is my auto auto automata controller. I modified it myself to uh, first of all the cars don't disappear and I had a mod for that but I've changed it some more to make more traffic appear on the roads because there wasn't much showing up. But even with that it seems like there isn't a huge amount showing. Well I guess it's reasonable for the suburbs though these roads. Of course it depends on the traffic volumes in the game. Which yeah, they're pretty good, I think, or high. Hope that helicopter isn't very loud for you because that's kind of annoying. You can hear it somewhere, I don't see where it is. In the police station. <laughs> but anyway. There is another Automata controller available on Centropolis now, besides the one that I have, and I think it's supposed to be persistent, as in they don't disappear. The cars don't disappear shortly after they appear, like in the default game, and it also should show a lot more traffic, so maybe I'll try that out and see my modified custom one. Whenever I look it up and find out, so, yeah. So, I think maybe I'll put like a curve here, 90 degrees. Make it a smooth one. Doesn't have to be, I suppose. And I'll put some trees here and kind of separate this street, which I want to be residential, or separate that from the commercial stores here. I'm not sure about these build. Well, of course, okay. I guess they're all low density. The buildings themselves, even in these medium density zones, you know, they're two or three floors high. But of course, this is a low density zone, so it must be low density buildings. The same on both sides. So, on this side, it might potentially develop into. I don't know what exactly. Something a bit taller. What, what would that look like? Probably these right here. These are offices or shops. That's probably what I'll get eventually. If there's the uh, demand for that in this area. 
So anyway, I've got a residential, some apartments that are good height as well here. So that's good. I'm not going to keep it by making historical because you've got this pretty ugly wall with few windows on it. No other features on it, so it's facing the road. See if something else replaces it. Um, I'm not going to put this street straight to that road because of the closeness to this intersection. I'll probably put it maybe more in the middle of the block. That's going to break the override on the avenue. So, right there won't do it. What I mean is, uh, it's, you can see it's turning into a road. That's dude, I don't have a starter piece here, so it would turn into a road if I clicked on that. Uh, so... Maybe I'll do something like this, yeah. And... Put another intersection there. I think that looks good. Very uh, curvy and suburban style of street layout, I guess. Random looking, maybe. So, this area's got a little bit of dense development. I'm going to put some more apartments nearby. I don't intend for it to be another one of this area, this kind of area, or a continuation of it either, so these aren't going to be really tall apartment buildings anyway, I guess. Fortunately, I can't put two of them in here, I guess, because... They've got to be uh, five tiles in one direction or the other. So that won't really work. Can't put a four by four tile one. This area, of course, I said was going to be more kind of parkland undeveloped due to the airstrip, and I'll, I would put a building right here, an apartment that would fit nicely, but of course, gotta leave it empty. So, I don't know what to do with that. I can make it more empty grass in the field like over here, but, um, yeah, I guess that's what I'll do, I mean, even if it is kind of empty looking, it's like, I wouldn't put an actual park there, I guess. a bit and it zooms. So. Oops, there. Let's see. Put the three tiles wide. Let's make it symmetrical for no reason in particular, but there. That's grass. I guess it was grass before, but now it's developed looking grass, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'd almost make that a different texture, though. <sighs> there's like the one I was using before at the beginning of this episode. Because there's this street, you know, that matches with that better. 
not to match the airfield. It's not really important though, I guess. Maybe a little bit, might as well. So where is this? There it is. trees here on the one side of it like I did on the over there so okay should be enough parcels here for single family homes or duplexes maybe actually that there's some that would appear in that size of a zone. I'll put a few more here. Which could be this size maybe oops. No. Rotated towards that street. Oh, well look at that. Doesn't match again. Okay. That's too bad. much for redoing it, I guess. Let's see, where are my trees? Down here. Yep. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't look so bad if it gets, like, I don't know, maybe a low wealth building developed and it will turn to low wealth grass texture again. I don't know. But, we'll see. Probably a good idea to extend this street some more. Actually, maybe I'll make it like a cul-de-sac right here. Yeah, okay. And... Put another one. Nearby. Or I could just kind of curve it. So again, seems like a major, or a main kind of, um, main route. Well, it's a major, major road, it's more close to this avenue, I mean. So I might put commercial development here instead of residential. That'd probably be a good idea. Good idea. Yeah, okay. Works out. I guess I, I guess I don't really need to have uh, developed everywhere in this block, you know, I can just put trees there 
to get a house in every possible area, so I'll just fill that in. And it'll separate from the commercial zone too. Ooh. Change the median of the avenue to that nice one that I like. One of the ones I my favorites. Fortunately, it's likely to change to something else. Its development changes. I'm just gonna put trees here as well. So there's more continuous separation in the commercial area. Alright. There's one apartment building here. I have another one right here, maybe. Perhaps that would be good. The median here is complete. That looks pretty good. Um, fill this with more single family houses. And this will be commercial. And again, I'll separate it from the main avenue in the residential area. Wow. So I've got a Holiday Inn Express going in here. And a couple of uh, small shops. So, keep that maybe. Make this one historical. It fills in the area nicely, better than a lot of repetition that you get sometimes with smaller buildings. Not really sure. This street is like a good place for a hotel, but I'm not. Because the developer thought it was. <laughs> Probably find it in the main avenue in real life, but anyway. So I've got this area to fill in. You know, I think I'll maybe um, call it a, an episode for now and continue filling this in the next one. So, I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.